Terry, Heather and boyfriend Melvin, Christopher and Mum. On their return, Karen gives them Sunday lunch and hears all about their first trip abroad. Do you like your flight? Actually, I thought it was quite good in the end. No, oh, I thought it'd be fine instead. Karen, without a word of a lie, until we left, travelling on the train, yeah. I've been absolutely petrified. Her hands all the way in the train. She kept saying, look, like that. pools of water. Yeah, well, that's yeah. how mine were. Britannia Airways would like to announce the departure of their flight number B91209 to Palmer. Now boarding at gate 36. Flight number B91209 to Palmer. Now boarding at gate 36. Will passengers please have their boarding cards ready? Thank you. Last call for passengers for flight number B91209 Palmer. There's a nose lifts up. You just as there are cars going over a humpback bridge. Yeah, just for a second. Just your tummy. As it lifts off it's the only just for a couple of seconds. But when the plane has to bank round, you know, yeah. to turn and it leans over, Margaret would lean away from the window like this. <laughs> and she sat by the emergency door, you know. <laughs> Press <laughs> mine. I can't, I can't remember laughter. You're gonna get yourself ringing wet if you don't watch it. He don't care. He always, I feel like pushing him in and getting him all wet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. He What's makes me chance, wet. Huh? He makes me really laugh. Roll him up a bit more. He's gonna get that right bread in his middle in a minute. I don't mind getting wet in there, you know. I wish I'd come looks. in as big as they were in there now. <laughs> I just thought you'd see it. <laughs> 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 well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. morning. It's better. First of all, thank you all very much indeed for coming down this morning. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to the Arnold Park on behalf of the management and the staff, and we're going to try and make you stay here as great as we can do. We're always on duty, well, at least one of us are anyway. And if you don't find us there, I'm sure you all know the first place to come and have a look, don't you? Yeah? Sat in the bar. That's right. Don't be afraid to come along and say what you're having because we'll all accept. Arenal is a fabulous place. You've got everything. You've got a fabulous beach, got lots of shops, you've got lots of bars which are important. But please, whilst you're here, do see some more of the island. Any extras you use in the dining room, you pay for them there and then. This afternoon we've got um, a ramble on the beach to Madrid. 
Also, you can get breakfast in bed or anything else in bed. Just go to reception and they'll do it for you. 25 pesetas extra and it comes on a tray as well, okay? Because these caves have the largest underground lake in Europe, believe it or not. You go to the pearl factory, and I'm sorry all the ladies spend their money. We go to a barbecue at the back of Palmer, a barbecue called Sonomar. That's every Wednesday, and that's what we consider the best night of your holiday. We've got a big list saying bon voyage. I'm sorry to have to mention this while you've all just arrived. You have a fabulous holiday, and you're going to go back with a super suntan. Cheers, here's to a good Cheers. holiday. Cheers. Cheers. Orange tomato grape, please. Grape, grape. Grape. How many grapes, please? Uh, well, yeah, me. Mm. Two grapes. Uh, so you like English breakfast because we have English breakfast here? Yes, please. Yes? Just me. You are your mum. Fried egg sausage and tobacco. Billy. All right, for you. Well, we've been putting sellotape there to keep the door open. <laughs> Fall off the sellotape and paint, come with it. All is well, all is well. We've got a leg out. <laughs> Mum and I can sit there if you want to sit here with Chris. You won't have enough food. <laughs> Malvin! Get lost, you stinky, smelly pig. <laughs> Malvin! Just hate us. It's gone round the front. <laughs> yeah, well, that's me, I'll just grow on. She's right. completely different. Yeah, she actually, you know, her and I, you know, in temperament, are both about the same. But she's a great character, great Google. Anyone complaint I've got about there is somebody was using our loo, so I went in to use the kid. Of course, before the light came on, I walked in straight into the B day, didn't I, and keep his shins on it. God, I swear. I was repeating that one. <laughs> <laughs> same, do you, Eddie? I haven't used it, to be quite honest. No, no one's a deck chair. Oh. What? Oh, it's <laughs> gushing. It's out. Look at it. It's coming out in jerks. <laughs> She's got her hand in it. <laughs> Well, I know, you see, you can't swing a cat round in here. It. it used to be a cupboard years ago, so they made an indoor toilet out of it. And you've got a wash basin one end and the toilet pan and the cistern the other. And you sort of put your arms up to put your drawers up or something, and what happens? You hit your arms on the walls, you know. <laughs> Karen? What? It's looks great. It's nice, it's nice to sit down to a nice roast dinner for a change. <laughs> Yeah, give him sausage and beans, he said. They'd be satisfied. I said, you burger. Hello. Um, two beef burgers, biscuit chips, and a hot dog and Two more hamburger and chips. But most of their snack meals, mm -hmm. um, you can buy food in the bars. Oh, yeah. Wherever you are, there's a bar one end and a bar the other. Mm -hmm. And there's a lounge between it. The children are allowed in children there. Children are allowed in there as well. They're open until half past three, four in the morning. Oh, that's it. Yeah, so you might be, but you'll break glasses and something else. Come here. Oh. We went out for a meal one night and had a beautiful steak. Yeah. Courgettes, which are like yeah. little baby marrows. Cooked. Yeah. They're lovely, Karen, mm. honestly. I've yeah, never why they do it? I sold them to people, but I've never cooked them and eaten them myself. But they're really lovely. And jacket potatoes, great big ones with this white sauce. But the steak was about an inch An thick. enormous bowl of salad on the table, mm. you know. Didn't have much of a choice then, did you? Oh, oh yes, yeah, we did. did. We did. But uh, it's knowing the language to know which meals to pick. No, I thought these five people spoke English. They can't explain to us no. what it is. No. Exactly, yeah. So they say, oh, well, Don't I'll have that one. Don't they speak any English there, then? Uh, some of them do, but they can't explain what our, what, what the food's oh, done. Well, they, don't, they don't know what our food's like, yeah. so, you know, what how can they... What after that, then? Um... After our stuffed peppers, um... Oh, yes, yeah, salad, Oh, I had roast beef with salad. 
Roast beef or something? Salad. But what was it you had? The garlic? Cheers. Gorgeous. Lady baby, garlic. Baby, had this garlic up. Nice to have some ve decent vegetables, isn't it? Yes, it is. Bain was pretty good food, considering, don't you think? Yep. Yeah, that's very true. They do special chips. They do it. They do. You know. Oh, it's handsome. It was them chips. Where'd you go? Down the snack bar. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good evening. Say good evening, folks. Wake up. Good. Now it's time to give some more champagne away. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to have ourselves a little beauty contest. Contestant number one. Here she comes. Super. Oh, thank. Now, come on, girls. We're going to have ourselves a little a little lap here. There's a couple of pretty girls over there. Two more there. Come on, give them a clap, folks. Please. And there's, there's two. There's one over there. Would you like to give those two ladies a push? Yes. Here they come. Here they come. Yep. They're getting up. I think. Give them a big clap, folks. She went in for the Miss Arundel Park contest. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. she was sort of goaded into it, you know. Yeah, but we she... didn't see her, unfortunately, because we went out somewhere else that night. Mm -hmm. And she won a bottle of champagne. She? And it's up to these two judges here to pick out who's going to be this week's Miss Arnold Park. And there they are. Well, thank you, Ben. She oozes over, folks. She's a very pretty young lady. What's your name, please? Mickey Cole. Mickey, where did you come from? London. London, in Lancashire. Do wake up at the back, will you? Wake up there, you people. London, what do you do for a living, please, Mickey? I'm a housewife and mother. Super. What's your name, please? Vivian. This is Vivian from... Bolton. Bolton, in Lancashire. Vivian, super. What do you do for a living? Hairdresser. She's a hairdresser. And um, what do you do for hobbies? Dancing and fellas. What's your name, please? Joy. This is Joy. What's a lovely name. From... Bolton. Bolton, in Lancashire. Will Tappers and Shunters Club. And tell us also, what do you do for hobbies? Oh, dancing, drinking, fellas, anything. <laughs> What's your name, please? Heather. Heather. This is Heather from... Reading. Oh, she's shy. Oh. Anybody here from Reading? Are you from Reading? Serves you right. Heather, what do you do for a living? Tell us. Go to school. Go to school. That's an easy way to make a living. Smile at me. Thank you. I thought you'd gone off me. And what do you do for hobbies? Tell me. Hairdressing. This is Janice from... Surrey. Surrey? Whereabouts in Surrey? Old Colston. Old Colston in Surrey. What do you do for a living, Janice? I'm still at school. Are you still at school? We're all still at school. Okay, the place closed. Um, behave you. And hobbies, what do you do for hobbies? Nothing. And it's going to be third place. Ah! Oh. Anyway, she doesn't want to do the Bunsy 7 for the end, it's six. Ah, oh, that's super. Second place, please. She's just going to be six, there we go. Then the winner is Aaron O'Connor. You can have the rules that come on either side, please. You can actually come on either side of the show. Okay. And the girl who comes first, yes. she's a... She's, um... Oh! Well, I don't know. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have called her... I'm um, currently still trying to get that bit up. ...really smart, would you? Oh, I should imagine when she was done up, she was smart, because she well, was quite an attractive so. woman. Yeah, but... Well, I don't know. Does she seem very tough to her? Yeah, I think she is, actually. She is? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's an experience she'll never get again. Oh, quite. But, I mean, you know, when I said to her the other day, Today, Miss Arundel Park, I said, who knows, in four years' time, Miss World, you know? <laughs> and who would go Mind you, I think if she took care of herself, she could have a go. Well, she does take care of herself. Yeah, I know, but young. I mean, she, she wants a bit more experience. She is rather young, I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. We'd better go to that shop first and get that bag. Where are you going? Out the stairs. What for? Going in the church. Yeah, but you ain't going... <laughs> Malvin, you are mad. Malvin, why? Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch it. I'm only having a look on top. Alvin! Full of money, isn't it? I don't know, but I ain't going near you. They're pretty, they should do aren't churches like this. Well, there they are. Hold on. What's in? Hold on. Right up here. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, fish is on the floor. Two bucks. Who likes to use it, man? It's pretty, isn't it? It's pretty. It's better than our church, isn't it? Yeah. 
by confession boxes. Yeah. I don't know someone might be in there. Huh? <laughs> Come out. Come out. Don't know, isn't it? To respect. Alvin, don't. Alvin, don't. Come out. No. Oh. No, I haven't seen anyone. I hope it's it, anyway. I hope so. I don't want the weather to change this afternoon. It's terrific, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. What does Museo mean? Hmm? What does Museo mean? Museo. Who is it? Well, Zoom is, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Malvin. <sighs> Melvin! Melvin, don't whistle. Go on, Melvin. What about something like that? Just go That'd be nice for Karen and Gary. Isn't that lovely? Mr. Becker. And there was another one, that one. Either that or that one. Just over a pound, isn't it? That 25 pop. Ask him. What's that? Oh. Uh, could we take the. Uh... Picture of you up there. Up there. Thank you. Mm. See. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Not for you, for Scott. Guys, line out, right? Mm. And do sign a cross on your forehead. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> and don't wipe it off your forehead, let it dry. I had a chocolate eating competition one afternoon. They have a... Oh, I bet you won that. No, no, he didn't. He had oh. like a big breakfast cup yeah. full of chocolate, melted chocolate. And we've got about six biscuits in front of them. They sit opposite one another. And there's going to be a little prize for the first to finish all the biscuits and all the chocolate. Hmm. Right? On your marks, get set, go. Big dollops. Mine is hair in his mouth. They shared the prize for having the most chocolate on them. These two are doing well over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, that's all outside. Now, there's one of the dining halls. Nena, ponle por favor a la mesa de los Rows and rows and rows of tables. You could have a look in a minute. Go, come on, you'll be Go on, get it. <laughs> There. Chaps going along the front. Chaps going along the front in these carts mm. with the horses. I bet that's noise. I love the beach, but it's just the sand that gets oh, in everything yeah. annoys me. You can sit by the ball, don't you? Yeah. Did you go on one? No, we didn't go on yeah. one. And they come and serenaded us at the table and. Oh, did you go to a ball fight? Yes, yes on the Sunday. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. And that's just a view of our normal. <laughs> Ours was sort of back up the hill. Hey, get up. <laughs> Everybody lets their hair down. <laughs> oh, all these trees, by the way, Karen, are all the same. They're all pine trees. Right? Yeah. Mm. You've got these fellas singing and playing as you walk through with the guitars and everything. Looks ever so nice. It eh? is. It's fantastic, to be quite honest. Mind your steps, please. Okay. Yeah. Follow the others, please. You get the Don't sign again. Okay. okay. Did you get your ticket? Yes, sir. What was the first thing you saw when we went into the barbecue? This bit. With all the... <laughs> With all the what? I don't know what yummies are.
Them pigs still got their teeth in. <laughs> pigs and chickens. All pigs. All mm. roasting all away. All roasting away. Mm. And they're all turning over over these logs oh, from yeah. the wood fire. Yeah. Um, you have a little drink. So, you're not Ask drinking you. this stuff, though. Huh? Alvin. What are you doing? What is it? This is what you've been looking for. Go over there. What's it taste like, Mel? Come on, Max. I have a drink. You're yeah. waiting. Oh, come, come on. on. Then you get some champagne. Champagne. Mm -hmm. Champagne. You didn't drink that, did you? Yeah, you've been living on that. And they come around with food, don't they? Yeah. Let me tell them this one. Oh, okay. And then they. Bring some hot. What is it again? Hot rum punch. Yeah, hot rum punch. Mm -hmm. I didn't drink it though. Follow me, then we go inside now. Yeah. 221. Chris! Oh, gold. Isn't it marvellous? We don't drink at all, you know. I think my husband's paying off. I never drink that. Still, man. Hello, mother. Alicia, you can't go Chris! Where is he? Chris! Come on up with us. Number six, inside here, please. Have you got your tickets ready, please? Yes. yes. Mind your step. So how many are there of you? Four? Yes. So we're ten, aren't we? Nine. Nine. Over there is number six, eh? A man came around with this bottle. It's a little tube. It's a porn. A porn. Mm hmm. He just goes, let me go. Have you ever seen them where it just pours out in a little fine jet? Yeah. You just hold it up to your mouth first and take it away in the distance. Mm -hmm. And you have to keep swallowing it while it's yeah. going into your mouth. Of course, Muggins here, after they give you an exhibition, one chap had done it for about 30 seconds, easy. 31. 31, was it? Yes. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Okay, now you have a go. Yeah. <laughs> so he came over to me, he said, now you have a try. So I took my jacket off before I soaked that, and I'd done it for about 13 seconds, and I was choking then. There we go. Alone, you've got to be full up, you won't have any meat in a minute. Could you pass me a little salad, please? Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was gorgeous. First feel good English meal. Didn't you leave me any? No, I didn't. Ah. <laughs> Pig. What's your afters? What's your? You must suck it to the back. Oh, hey. oh I'm proud. The rain is going forward mainly where? Up in the lounge, they lay out on a table. All the prizes for the bingo. Mm. Well, there's one prize there Melvin and had his eye on ever since we arrived Saturday night because he saw it. I'm gonna win that, I'm taking that home, he was saying, you know. Mm. Anyway, he goes down there, 
disco. We're sitting there, we're playing bingo. Dad's waiting for about three numbers. And for, this, for this one prize, you see. Mm. And so was Melvin. Six and five is retired again to the 65. And two and six is half a crown. Then the breadth of the 26. Five and four, number 54. Six and seven, number 67. Eight and one, there's no more fun at 81. On its own, all the ones, legs, 11. Oh, come on, let's go. Number four. <laughs> Five and six. Fifteen, six. And one and eight. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you should have seen Melvin. He went spare. He was really mad. When I called out, he said, you haven't got it. I said, no, I have, and I went off to get it. Oh. And she's got this gorgeous white lace mantilla thing. And she's holding this guitar. You know when you get to the top, because this one scrapes. It's really fantastic when it all sprays out. Perhaps I realised it wasn't a bit of yeah. I kept looking at this doll, you know. There's yours. Yeah. Oh, a little doll! <laughs> I thought you might like no? this one. Yeah, well, I think she's the one you the got. <laughs> <laughs> you got Marion one of those as well, Karen. Isn't that lovely? Nice? Oh, yeah. Yeah, put it on the television then. No, on the different table. He's gorgeous, isn't he? What's his name? Falcon. Falcon? Yeah. Oh, gorgeous, and isn't he? Hose. Huh? Andalusia Hose. Oh, I see. He's you know, and I teach uh, also, you know, the people can't write. Ah, uh, yeah. Such as me. <laughs> well, I can teach you if you like it. You've got to be joking. <laughs> Got a donkey once, got on one side and fell off the a other. Donkey, but you know, I have uh, quiet horses, you know, very quiet horses. Yeah. You know, for everybody begin. I just like looking at them. Well, I don't know whether I'll come next year, maybe the year after, because we need quite a lot of money to really enjoy yourself. Because it's not as cheap over here as people seem to think. Do you think there's any luck in trying to get, get that off? Yeah, you start some good. Holiday present. Oh, God, I'm not going through those cases again <laughs> to find that. <laughs> um, I was only going to bring a hundred pound with me, and I bought a hundred and eighty. Uh, and for the time we've paid what we've got to pay for our other uh, meals, well, I'm hooked. Terry, help! What? I'm hooked. Oh, well, no. Well, it's hanging on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's hooked on me what's name, on me little hook on the top of the dress. Oh, yeah. Well, come in. Come here. Do the hook up on the dress, they won't do it again. Oh, no, you pulled it right out. Oh, never mind, don't mind. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we bought more money with us, though, aren't you? Oh, yes, yes. It would have ruined the holiday, I think. By the time we've paid what we've got left, I might just have enough for some housekeeping for next week. Certainly had good value for money, I'm certain of that. You check their room, there's nothing in there. So Sorry, no, that's... I brought their two coats Chris, that's my hat, yours is that one. Can you imagine what we've got to look forward to when we go back? <laughs> I'm frightened to. Two weeks' time, wedding. I know. We haven't chatted about it, have we, with Marion and Tom? Who's going to pay for what? I just hope there's enough money in the bank. Obviously, we can't expect them to do it all themselves. And uh, in any case, I mean, it's our privilege to help pay for our daughter's wedding.